Well, howdy, howdy, gang. This is uh, Alan of Alan Strange and Things, RDA in scale. And uh, we uh, wanted to show a video of uh, one of our uh, Kato uh, 9088s, uh, well, one of our Kato engines, our SD70 Aces. Uh, uh, this is road number 9088. And uh, we are running on our uh, uh, we're running on our inner track uh, uh, this uh, is uh, 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 with our uh, uh, NCE SB5 and with a uh, with the EB1 uh, hooked up to it uh, uh, so far, everything is okay. Um, uh, it's running okay. Looks like there might be a little bit of uh, pulling down. That might be because I need to... Um, well, I might need to do some... Uh, uh, might need to do some... Uh, putting in some extra... Uh, uh, track uh, power uh, I've got right now just two of them and I need to add them in and uh, may need to help that out uh, like I say uh, the uh, the EB1 is hooked in there and I've got everything I've got stuff on uh, all set at uh, one two three which is uh, the lowest setting that you can set your uh, EB1 at at 1.5. The engine seems to be running, but she seems maybe a little sluggish. So that so that might be because uh, it needs to be uh, bumped up uh, a little bit. I talked to Ed at NCE, and he said don't go any higher than uh, do not go any higher than 4.1 amps. And so, um, uh, we'll keep that, uh, under that, uh, if need be. Uh, like I say, the engine, uh, and the track is got, uh, the EB1 in, um, uh, and, uh, but we may need to add a little bit more track power, uh, you know, more power to the track. Even though this layout is small, on our outer route, we have four Kato Positaps, you know, going from the, you know, Kato uh, uh, Power Taps going for, you know, that hook into the rail joiner or rail power taps going in and, uh, excuse me for my fingers. So we may have to get them definitely two more in and so we have more power through the rails. I, I did use some inox uh, on the rails. Uh, I put some of that on. And uh, like I say, the engine is a little sluggish. Before I put, before I put the, the EB1 in, um, there was an instance where the SB1 shut down on me. I don't know if that caused any issues with the SB5. The SB5 did. If I said SB1, I meant to say SB5. Um, we'll bump this up just a little bit more. Um, like I say, there might have been a little... I mean, it seems to be running, but the engine seems to kind of go be a little sluggish. So that could be because... Uh, she's still running, but it's a little sluggish, so that might mean that it just needs more power to the rail. There ain't enough power. And so we may have to do that. Uh, I want to give a shout out to Greg at Fishplate Films. I'm going to put this on uh, his deal just where Greg can see this. Uh, and because uh, uh, of the Inox. Uh, and uh, he might see this and say, uh, well, she now she stopped.
Okay, so... So she might tell me, hey, you need to do something. We'll just check and make sure the engine's not too hot. The engine's not too hot. Or the decoder's not hot. We'll make sure that the SB5 is not hot. The SB5 is not hot. Everything looks good there. Oops, again my finger. I'm sorry. Let's see if she starts out again. Yeah, she's not wanting to go. So, let's, uh, let's detach the, let's detach the cars. I'm going to pause this just a second. I keep putting my finger in front of the camera, and I'm sorry for that. Okay, we're going to try this with the engine unattached to the cars. And we just may not, like again, we may not have enough, uh, we may not have enough, um, um, power rail, power rail joiners on there to, uh, bump up the power, uh, this is a pretty heavy load right here, uh, these cars, so this engine is having to pretty well lug down, and so... Sorry again for the fingers. We'll make sure that the, we'll make sure that the engine is not uh, spinning the wheels. I don't think she's doing that. I don't think she's doing that. Might be just the might be just the load. Might be just the load, or or because there isn't enough. There's not enough power to the track. Um, it's kind of I guess you call it a lesson learned. It's not um, when my inner track was, and I'll explain this. When my inner track, sorry for the finger. When the inner track was DC, I only needed a couple taps to to. To, to do this and when I switched over to DCC I wasn't running uh, I was doing more DCC running on my outer on my outer route and so uh, uh, I do have I do have the uh, the uh, the uh, SB5 now hooked into my circuit breaker like I say I may have to bump that up I may have to bump up uh, I may have to shut off the uh, SB5 and flip it over to 13.5 uh, on the setting. There is a setting uh, on there that you can go from 12 volts up to 13, and I may have to do that. I know, I know on my power cab, uh, it sets at 13.5. The uh, the wall work that plugs in is. 13 point or 13.8 I mean 13.8 and so I may have to bump that up to 13.8 uh, and we might have to just see if that does that if it does uh, we'll find we'll know real quick uh, and so uh, but uh, the engine is running matter of fact I had two engines running and uh, I did pull a small consist uh, with my little uh, uh, BNSF 2711 and so uh, but uh, we're gonna get uh, some more uh, power rail joiners down uh, to the track and get them hooked into our blocks and, and uh, see what that does we got the drill bits we got the we got the power rail joiners we're gonna get them in 
and so we'll get them we'll get them going um we'll shut this down and i'm gonna flip that and unplug and flip this to 13.8 and see if that makes any difference and so um when I plug, and this is a question I'm going to ask you guys out there. When I plug my SB5 in, um, it has a tendency to, and Ed said that was normal at NCE. Um, you NC guys out there, NCE guys out there. He said this was normal. When I, um, when I'll go to plug it in, there's a little spark. Doesn't matter if I plug it into the outlet, plug it into whatever. Of course, I do not have. I mean, I'm plugging in. What I'm plugging into is that right there, which is a backups 600 APC. Right there is where it's at. Do the same thing. There's a little spark uh, when I am uh, plugging in my wall work for my power cab. And so that's what I'm plugging into. What I'm kind of wondering is just get me a just a, a long maybe a long power strip you know or one of those yeah you know uh, from trip light or something like that and keep the uh, 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 keep keep the SB5 plugged in keep it plugged into the thing when I want to shut it off just flip the switch and then when I'm ready to turn it on just flip it back on and do it that way which would be pretty simple to do. I'm thinking about doing that. There might be a little spark inside the inside the uh, trip light, but it's sometimes that spark can get pretty nasty. Not real super nasty, but I told I told Ed that there was a spark, and he said, "Yeah, that can happen." And so I'm hoping that that is enormously, and it could be because of the power supply that's causing it. But we're gonna pause this. Shut it down, and then we're going to put this on 13.8 and see if there's any difference. Okay, guys, we done the switch. Done the switch here. Switched it over to, uh, uh, you can see my, uh, uh, you can see my, uh, uh, power supply. You've got 12 volts, 13, 8 volts. We switched it over to 13. Uh, everything so far looks good on the uh, circuit breaker. Everything, your light lit up. That's the way you want that to be. Just like your light for your SB5. You want those both to be lit up. Okay, we got the engine. We got the engine powering down. When it first starts up, you want it to power up and then power down. We'll pause one more time. Um, like I mentioned, when that happened, when that short circuited, it wasn't but just for a few seconds, maybe. I mean, five seconds, ten seconds, or whatever. And that it didn't, it didn't deform the box or anything like that. I don't know if I harmed the box or not. I'm hoping that I did not. But again, I may not have enough track, uh, track real power on there. I may have to get some more joiners on there. The bus line is 18 gauge, uh, 18 gauge for this four by eight table. Um, it's 18 gauge. I'm running uh, 16 or 18 out of the smart booster up to the uh, uh, to the EB1, and then 18 uh, short uh, right here from the EB1 uh, up to uh, the block, which the block goes. As you can see, that first block right there, uh, uh, that first block right there that my finger's pointing to, that's one of the blocks. Uh, you go down here, that first block there is uh, my third block, and this block that's, let's see where she's at, that third block that's right there. Uh, and then you see the wire going underneath or going around the uh, where the leg is there. That's my fourth block, and uh, that's running the inner route. Uh, like I say, there's there's my uh, my third block, and then there's my second block.
I just have I just have the power uh, tapped in that block there and the first block the first block down there that's where I've got the uh, uh, power rail joiner the power rail joiner hooked into so I probably should do it into that one there and in that one there and maybe again even though this is just a small uh, a small size layout so pause one more time. We'll see what happens when I move out here. Okay, we're gonna back her up. See if we can see if we can roll her out. Hopefully we can turn the light on here and we can see if she'll uh Ah there's what's going on. That's what's happening. Got a little wheel spin. We're getting uh, getting a little wheel spin. That could be one of the problems for sure. So always could use probably another locomotive or we'll downsize the we'll downsize the cars a little bit. So hang on just a second. Okay, we unattached some of the cars and let's see if she pulls out now. And we're, what we're doing, we're pulling out with some of the cars, some of the cars left on the main. Then what we'll do, we will, we will get, we'll get the train moved to here. We will flip the switch as the train is here. That way we continue with power. Let's see here. Hang on just a second. Uh, okay, guys. Uh, camera had a brain fart moment. So uh, we're going to... Uh, we're going to uh, do a little... Uh, Keep that on there. Just a second here. I want to check something here. Okay, with some entertainer, with some entertainment magic, we uh, we move some cars. We move some cars there. I'm going to go real slow. We moved some cars right there with the fish belly. And then we moved our tail thread car right there. <clears throat> okay. Now we'll go and put this, make sure everything is okay. Flip that like that. Reverse. We'll back up and we'll hook up to uh, Southern Pacific here. Okay. All right, we'll see how she does. And we're running about 19 speed steps, 22 speed steps. She seems like she's running pretty, pretty flawless again. Uh, 
I don't know if she'll slow down again like she was. Uh, uh, the Enox, uh, I was, I seen some wheel spin, and I don't know if that's from the Enox uh, that I put on there. Uh, uh, Greg at Fishplate Film said that you know put the Enox on and wipe it down. Uh, and when I was asking him about, because uh, I didn't want to use mineral spirits, uh, Greg uh, recommended uh, clean the track with Enox, wipe it down, and then uh, just reapply again. And so uh, with uh, with the uh, Enox uh, on there, he said that when you go and wipe uh, wipe your track you will get you will get this and this is just as smooth as butter when i run i mean when i take this rag and run down here and then you'll get you'll get uh you'll see this coming on your rag and it shouldn't be on your engine your engine wheels and that should be clean but your if this will focus it will should be like that um uh, i set the S, uh, I set the SB5s, uh, um, I set the SB5s, uh, oh, it's, uh, 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 if I can get it out here, I'm sorry. I set the SB5s, uh, uh, wall wart, or it's, uh, where it uh, plugs into to plug into the wall. I call them wall warts. Uh, they're adapters. Uh, uh, I set it from um, 12 to 13.8. And so far the engine is maintaining its speed. Um, I do notice sometimes that those... Uh, that those uh, um, microtrain cars or the wheels do tendency to kind of pull a little sluggish. So I think we're going to look on microtrain's website and see how much uh, the 36-inch uh, metal wheels are. Uh, my new uh, my new CN cars that you see right there. That's in front of my intermodals. They have 36 inch wheels, uh, metal wheels, uh, micro trains. They started putting that uh, them on them, and they roll pretty smooth. Matter of fact, uh, my uh, Kato um, intermodals all have metal, and I may, I may start going back more to do more Kato stuff. Um, and because uh, they do have the metal wheels already installed, uh, the couplers hook up good. But we can also we can also change over to uh, Microtrain's uh, metal wheels, and uh, they. I mean, I think they probably will help a lot. Uh, we will uh, switch to the inner route. No problem switching to the inner route. Engine sounds like she's uh, handling it pretty good. All my all my turnouts, I did run, I did apply on the inside uh, along the edge. I put some. If you look at the edges there, uh, and we'll point this out with my pointer. With my pointer here, you can see my pointer here. I applied. I applied some no ox on my inner on my inner corners in here on this inner side in here like this and on this side on the inner side here and that seemed to help quite a bit uh, I am running something else right now I'm running my uh, I'm running my uh, uh, big boy 4018 or it's sitting on the track
turn on the light here. I'm going to lease her on up and let you guys see her moving. Or see him moving. I keep saying her. Release him up a little bit. Engine's been running pretty smooth. I've been pretty happy with how he runs. Uh, I only have one little, one little minor, one little minor, 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 minor little little thing that I could that I could gripe about, and it's only minor. Uh, is this uh, first drive? This uh, on the first set of drivers here. And let's make sure the pointer is sticking down and not touching actually the the anything like that. But because it welds plastic, it ain't gonna hurt nothing. But that wheel right there is a little on the loose side. It seems to do a little bit more lifting uh, than what I've seen. It don't has not derailed. All my wheels are in uh, uh, according to the uh, NMRA gauge. They're all in a sync. Uh, they're not out of gauge. I think maybe the only one that I had slightly out of gauge was that first pilot wheel just slightly. But it, it holds into the track real well. It doesn't have no problems. Uh, but uh, we'll, uh, we'll power the light off there. And um, I think since I uh, switched this to... Uh, I switched this to... Uh, uh, 13, uh, 0.8. I think the engine is doing a little better. Um, uh, I don't see it running sluggish at all. Uh, a little jerkiness out of my cars, but nothing other than that. And we'll, uh, slow her down. I'm going to put her in reverse. Everything seems to be okay in reverse. Not running sluggish or anything like that that I can tell. We'll unhook and we'll see how she does uh, without the cars hooked up or attached. See if I can not jerk my camera. So far at one speed step, the engine is. Pretty smooth, no jerkiness that I can tell. Maybe just a slight bit, but not much. I say I'm trying not to jerk my camera or jitter it too darn much. And go back at two speed steps. I'm gonna talk to. Um, I'm gonna talk to, or hopefully I can talk to a gentleman that I uh, that I know. I met and, and know uh, uh, 
I'm not going to say I know well, but I know uh, and had a good conversation with him. I know him now, and uh, he, uh, uh, he, uh, he trained as a conductor, and then he was uh, able to train as a, uh, uh, as a, uh, as an engineer, um, and, uh, uh, and, uh, he, uh, is, uh, uh, is, um, well, one of them is, uh, that's, uh, engineer is, uh, his name, first name is Terry, and, um, uh, uh, Mr. Bowman, uh, is, uh, uh, engineer that, uh, that came and talked to me and visited with me, uh, Roy, Mr. Roy Bowman, um, uh, he come visited with me one night when they were sitting, uh, out there at Whiteside, and come up and sat, I mean, come up and sat under, stood there, first I thought maybe I was in trouble, because I was maybe, you know, whatever, not with the tracks or something like that. And he goes, oh, no, 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 no. He goes, I'm just coming up to visit with you. Coming up and have a good conversation with you. And he sat and talked to me, and he's about, uh, oh, he's about uh, my uh, uh, about my dad's age, maybe a little younger. Uh, uh, he might be in his early, early, early 60s. Early 60s. Looks like a... Looks like a cool old outdoorsman, you know, and that, and just, and, uh, he's just, uh, just neater than neat, and, uh, you know, and, uh, great gentleman to talk to, and I'm just gonna ask him, I say, hey, Roy, you guys occasionally, when you're backing up, you know, one of them old engines and that, and, you know, do you get kind of a little bit of a, kind of a little bit of a, you know, jerky feeling or kind of, you know, uh, when you're just going, you know, engine by itself, you know, does, is there a little bit of whatever in that? I'm sure, I'm sure there is. And I know he did, I know he did tell me that, uh, a couple of the engines that, uh, him and, uh, his, uh, engineer, uh, was in did not have no, uh, air condition and, uh, let's, uh, render the bell here did not have no air condition and they were uh going uh, they were uh going down track uh and uh, uh and uh, pretty hot conditions uh no air condition and he said the wind having the window open didn't help at all and oh man that's 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 something to bear uh uh you know uh it's been 105, you know, at times, uh, uh, this month here, uh, in Kansas, uh, that August heat, uh, 105, 103, 101, uh, one day it was 108 degrees, and my gosh, that is just really, really out there, and, uh, but, uh, uh, anyway, guys, um, so far, uh, I think some of it might have been, might have been maybe a little too heavy on the engine. Might have had a little bit of wheel spin. Might have had a little bit of wheel spin because of the inox. See if we got a hook up here. Got a good hook up here. Um, engine is sounding really, really good. Um, the shell is just lightly warm. I don't have a way, and I want to get one of those so I can see how much heat some of my stuff is putting off. I can get one, well, get me one of them little things that I can, you know, uh, uh, sit there and hold it and see what the heat is instead of sitting there doing this like this because sometimes I'm afraid I'm going to knock my engines over. But my uh, the shell is cool. Not really warm at all. Uh, my SB5, pretty cool as well. Not 
not too warm. I know my, I know I'm not really got it focused on there now it is, but not too warm at all. The only thing that's getting warm is my phone. My uh, NCE, uh, I mean NCE, my, uh, 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 my Samsung Note 9. That's what I wanted to say. Uh, but uh, move her up just a little bit here. I think what it boils down to, we just need to get those, uh, we just need to get those, uh, turn the light down here, that option, make sure the brakes are on and brakes are set, brakes are set, option two, knock down the lights, and power the lights off, and we'll shut her off here. I think what I think what we need to do is just get those get those uh, uh, power rail joiners uh, uh, locked and loaded. Get them in. Get them in the rails. Get them in the rails. Uh, get this thing with a little bit more, uh, uh, you know, juice going to the rail. That will help the that will help the engines. That will help the uh, you know all that stuff that needs to be done. Uh, like I say, right now I just got two one right here and one right down here it's the only place that i got them but we can add more anyway i know this video went a little longer than what i wanted it to um sometimes they unexpectedly go a little bit longer because you're trying to show what's going on here and it takes a little longer to explain so uh please give my video a like uh a like thumbs up ring the bell give me a please just lay a comment, lay the comments on me and let me know what you think. Tell me what you think. I appreciate all your comments, all your words of advice and that. I appreciate it all. So do that, please. And uh, Greg, if you're watching this video, your comments as well. I'd love to hear from you. Love to hear from all of you guys. I really, really do. So we thank you for watching. Alan's Strange and Things. We'll see you on the next one.